I'll say is that um, we're, gonna, we're, we're specifically going to refer to the special case of the discrete memoryless channel. memoryless channel, Sx is a uh, finite set, discrete finite set, Sy is a discrete finite set, Successive channel outputs y1, y2, given two successive channel inputs x1, x2. This has to be equal to, uh, in other words, the, these these uh, channel transitions x1 to y1 and x2 to y2 have to be independent. So in other words, this would be equal to probability y1 given x1 times probability y2 given x2. And more generally probability y1, y2, so on up to yn, given x1, x2 up to xn, should have to equal to the product from i equals 1 to n of probability yi given xi. In other words, what this statement is telling us is that um, the channel uses, so each time I use the channel, the distortion is, st is statistically independent. That's why it's factoring into these independent terms over here. So we'll call this a discrete memoryless channel or DMC. And the discrete memoryless channel. Transition, um, each input to the channel uh, xi in Sx. So, in other words, for each symbol that I put into the channel um, is called a channel use. If uh, each time I put a symbol into the channel, I'm using the channel and I expect some output corresponding to that particular input. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, introduce you to um, the fundamental quantity of, um, of the, uh, the reliable information transmission problem. Analogously to entropy, so we saw entropy is the fundamental quantity in compression. It's as far as we can compress any source. Uh, the analogous um, quantity in, um, in uh, reliable information transmission over noisy channels is called the mutual information. 